Speaking of which, another uh, song I've been thinking of. It's like, you know... Ren is the man in the middle of this game. Which is an LBG song. An underrated BG song. It was from their last album. It was written and sang by Morris Gibb, who was the, uh... I don't know, he always looks like the odd one at... I guess he really was the man in the middle. Robin and Barry were the ones that would do lead vocals. He would just kind of be the harmony, t harmony guy and the instrumentalist of the group. But he sang lead on that song and it's very catchy. Yeah, it's also crazy if you like uh, see live versions of uh, Nights on Broadway. He's the one actually singing the high harmonies. Like Barry did the harmonies on the studio version. Because he's singing lead when he's singing live. Morris takes over for the uh, falsetto uh, harmonies. They all were apparently capable of doing that. Go! Get out of here! Oh, fuck. That's the trouble with this camera. It takes ages to reload once you spend the video. Yeah. I think I was almost about to answer that. Like Get out of here. Okay, I wasn't about to glance. We can glance if we want to. We can glance off. No, that's not how it goes. Oh shit. Not today. Uh -oh. oh my god. I've been tainted. Honestly, the tainted status is really rare. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to usually get it. Ah! Well, uh, let's cure it. I don't know how and when I will try to get the trophy for defeating however many ghosts were tainted. Because I think you have to do it all in one drop, which is freaking pure insanity. I imagine the easiest way to do it would probably be the final drop. But on a very, like, maybe easy difficulty, just to make it easier. It's like, get a ghost to somehow taint you, and then run wild with it. Ah, I see. You have to use the trio find this when that happens. Well, that, that, that's good to know, because, you know, you can still heal when you're tainted. Because if you wouldn't be able to heal, that would be dick move on the game in this part, especially with the trophy, you know? Because how the hell would they expect you to defeat god knows how I have a many ghosts in one drop without getting kills because, you know, it drains your HP well, your health, whatever. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing in this drop.
Now I think I oh wait. That's the joining guard room. I think yeah, I don't think I've got that. Guard room. That'd be upstairs, I think. Or not. Um. Wait. Oh, wait, no, it's uh, in the next area, isn't it? Okay. We're still far from over. Just, just remember, how's the joining guard? Because, uh,. Pretty sure I'm missing Dr. Asif's notes from that. Uh, memories of fighting that annoying ghost off screen on my medieval team's place. Oh, it was dreadful. I was just thinking that, like, is that an entrance? And now I've got man in the middle stuck in my head. I know we'll let you down in so many ways. I know that sorry doesn't mean anything, but I would die for you, baby. Yes, I would die for you. I'll be kidding Give you back my heart still cries And you can understand I'm just a man In the middle of a complicated plan No one can show me the lies or something like that I'm just a creature of habit in a complicated world Nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide To hide, to hide It's a catchy song It'll get stuck in your head if you hear it. You son of a bitch, I saw you there, but it was too lit. I clearly haven't got whoever that ghost was. They always manage to sneak a ghost in a room where there's a bunch of shit that throws you off, and by the time you notice it's there and spotted, it's, it's already too late. Where's that lead? Ah, oh, there's up there. I think it's supposed to go around here.
See, I can't figure that bit out. Like, I don't know how it goes. It's like, I don't know, this is going to be split in two parts. I'm not sure if the Hermit Cave from Digimon World 4 that I'll have playing at some point in this recording will be in the same part that I was just playing at, but yeah, I can't figure out that main melody. She's like, why did you pick up a guitar and play something completely unrelated when the cutscene's going on? Because I've already seen the cutscene before. I don't care. Where am I? Wait a minute. We're in the house adjoining now, aren't we? Wait a minute. Could this line up timeline wise now? Maybe. Because, you know, we were just on the floor there. Maybe that's why when you play as me, you would drop 11. You see Ren on the floor there. Maybe it's like a flashback showing. Yeah, he was there not too long ago. Unless they were both there at the same time and somehow didn't run into each other because of some timey wimey bullshit. Looks like it could use a good wash. Probably has cobwebs in it. This room right here. I somehow missed this room when I first played through this drop. Because there's an item that I haven't picked up. And by item I mean a note. Old book with a blue cover has fallen on the floor. The name Kunihiko Asa is on the spine. This must have been left by Dr. Asso. <laughs> the game rips your ass. So he was the guy who invented it. I guess that explains why he's kind of been mentioned in our games. I guess this is the first game that he's made a physical appearance of sorts. I don't think he physically appeared in any other games. I mean, at most he probably had, like, uh... I don't know, I can't remember the second game been years. I haven't played that game since, you know, I let to play it years ago. But in that game you had that spirit radio thing, so I think maybe you hear his voice in that game. Or at least find notes about him, but you never actually see him. This photography is still so ex uh, expensive. How times have changed on that. Well, I guess it is. <laughs> kind of. Anyway, it's just got married, right? Uh, to pay the photographer and cost her a lot. But you know, nowadays you can just take the photos yourself, man. Don't need no professional photography. <laughs> just have a camera phone. Screw it. We're on a budget. But yeah, you know, uh, photographers still probably charge an arm and a leg, despite all that. It's common to dress to the sea stuff for posts or modern photographs. Upon seeing those pictures, I decided to make a camera. Those modern photographs are more than simple mementos. We I mean, know it was Ving back in the day, wasn't it? Yeah, photography was still kind of in its infancy and was therefore expensive. And back then, you know, mortality rate was a bit crap. And, you know, the only uh, way to preserve the memory is either, you know, the people who live on keeping them in their memories, or, you know, getting their picture taken when they're already dead, which is morbid. Or, you know, if they're really rich and wealthy, they're just like, ah, we don't need no photographer, we'll just have someone paint our relatives, for we are nobility. <laughs> They capture death and soul in a way the eye can't. I devoted myself completely to making a camera that could capture what we can't see. As soon as I had a work in pro prototype, I began taking postmodern photographs. And <laughs> just picture, you know, all that distinct arts, you know, portraits of royalty and all that. Picture that, but the artist is. Gone anime style. <laughs> you just like, 
So, Henry, what do you think of this one? It's like, what the hell did you do to my eyes? What is this shit? I wonder if someone, I mean, that sounds like something an artist could do, you know? It's just like, oh, you know, that's a good idea. Let's take portraits from history like that and anime the shit out of it. Make it look like an anime character. Just like, make the portrait identical, but with an anime aesthetic to it. Hey, they probably do that with AI nowadays. I don't know how the AI thing works. I'm kind of behind the times on shit like that. I mean, as far as art goes, you know, I don't know how... Well, I have a vague idea how digital art works. I assume if, like, you have a tablet, it's more easy to work with. Because then you just, you know, have your software. You can just have that pen thingamajig. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, any errors? Yes, undo that. Me, I'm still pencil and paper guy, you know? It's like, uh, in my update video I did for the VN channel, I showed a drawing that recently did a man, we'll show it on screen here. A character from Lil Busters called Miu Nishizeno, and I was like, I envisioned her with her own Pokemon, and I was like, you know, screw it, I'll draw it, because I was feeling like crap at the time, and I didn't feel like doing anything else, so I, you know, did some drawing for once. But, you know, the trouble, the limitations with drawing, you know, on paper, is if you make an error, it's hard to correct it, you know. You can rub it out, but it'll look terrible, because the rubber doesn't really rub things out quite well. One way of doing it, I suppose, is, you know, you can do it in pencil, and then go over it with pen to, you know, even out things, I guess. But, you know, I was pressing down on the pencils, coloring it in so much that I poked through the cat one of the character's eyes. It's like, well, I can't go into too much detail on the color on that now. And the yellow pencil was just not working, so the colors that should be yellow are very muted in the drawing, which was kind of... Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, where was I? Capture death from the soul in the way in the eye. I devoted myself to the to make a camera that could capture what I began to see as soon as I had a way for that. I began using those modem for photo taking photos of photographs. I traveled the country taking photographs of dead bodies. People were thankful to have the subject's spirits preserved. The people in Tamai, Hayakawa, and Katase near Mount Kami were practically elated. They said they were like the pillars. But this is still not the camera I was after. It's still on the capture system's device. I have to capture what the eye cannot. The portion composed of shadows. If I do, perhaps I can prove the existence of an invisible world. I mean, imagine how trippy as all hell that would be if. You're messing with all kinds of different lenses and stuff, experimenting there, you try to see what can't be seen, and you actually accomplish something. Like, you actually see something that is not normally perceived, like an alternate dimension. Like, not in like, an alternate dimension, it's like, you know. As in, like, on a different plane, like, you know, two-dimensional to three-dimensional is a very different thing. Like, flat to more three-dimensional. It's like something like that. Like, four-dimensional or five-dimensional, whatever. Something that is just beyond our understanding. That would be mind-blowing. It's like an idea I had for a short, kind of, Lovecraftian horror story. I had it so that this guy was pointing his uh, telescope at the moon and he's experimenting with different lenses and sees something strange and nobody believes him but the one thing that they all can agree on is that new crater formed on the moon they don't know when it appeared how it appeared they just know that it's there but when looked through a specific lens it moves Showing that the crater is not a crater. And that's where the horror comes into play.
Yeah, well, it's been a while since we encountered the hands. I mean, how creepy would that be? You see a new crater on the moon. It's a pretty sizable crater. And then suddenly it moves and you realize it's not a crater, it's something living. Why is there always this way, man? Why is he always dead there? I think I just shot off his wig. I mean, we always seem transformed, so is that what we're doing? Or is it two different people? Oh, you knocked off my wig! I take offense to that. Once again, I've got that song stuck in my head, so I don't know. It's simply because I've been mentioned. I'm just a man in the middle of a complicated man. Can I glance at you while you're doing that? Showing up the fight? Well, that's a first. Why can't why can't he just walk past us? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Save on time, but I'm an off screen, you two. We're burning poles. <laughs> Goddamn dirty mind. Poles. Yeah, he wishes. <laughs> Uh, these ghosts. Seriously, what was the point of that animation? It pulls you towards her and then just lets you go back. So what were you hoping to achieve there? It's like you just knocked me on my ass and that's about it. And again, I guess that's what most of these ghosts tend to do. They knock you on your ass and then you're like, haha, you fell. And then they'll, you know, try to kill you up. They just want to hold your hands. I gotta heal, and I'm gonna ask you the rest of these guys. Fucking terrain, you screwed me out of points. Well, not terrain, but you get the idea. These stupid things. I hate that video game, you know? Like, oh, this thing that I could simply, you know, step over. Can't do that. Might as well have a freaking giant pillar reaching up to the ceiling because you ain't getting around that. 
stupid. Might as well check the kimono room while we're here, you know? I feel like there might be a ghost. No, not. We just blank out and see an old creepy lady. I have no idea how out of tune the low E string on my guitar has gotten. I think it might have downed tuned to E flat out of nowhere, but it sounds cool when playing power chords under it. Every wave so long, so long, wave so long, so long, it's a nice day for a white wedding. We're dressed appropriately for it. <laughs> I have to turn the camera just to be able to access the door. It's a nice day to start the game. What song, what, what stupid Nickelback song was it with that, that stupid Larry Look at this photograph every time it makes me laugh at some stupid shit. Just picture Ren or Kazuya holding the photograph of Ose and I'm saying that. Oh, that's just so stupid. That's a funny uh, mental image there. Well, it's also definitely uh, an audible image because the song, but you get the idea. Uh, 
And it's kind of weird for me to say this, but the English voice actor felt more lively than the Japanese voice actor. Fuck is it? Yeah. It's like the English voice actor was very. I mean, the Japanese voice actor was similar as well, where you know everyone kind of sounds a bit down. Um, nobody has much life to them. Definitely must be deliberate. He directed that way. It was very obvious in the English voice acting because everyone just sounds like, yeah. You know, when Ren was on the phone to Kazuya and he was getting married, it's like both English and Japanese, he has his tone of, oh, really? So, uh, who are you getting married to? It's not like, wow, you get married, you know, actually sound like they're two friends and he's like surprised, like, wow, you get married? Oh, no, it doesn't feel natural, does it? But the point is, you know, in this section with the English voice acting on, the uh, voice actor actually puts in a bit of effort. They don't sound completely monotone. They actually sound like he's like, no, Ren, leave. This place is dangerous. Is this rail car going to be the one that opens? Damn, we're up to nearly an hour and a half. Don't know if I can squeeze that uh, second thread into this recording. Maybe I will. I can't quite remember what we're supposed to be here. Well, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that show. Wait, when was that show even a thing? Uh, Ooh, whoa, hello. <coughs> you just have to fade through the wall. Oh, you always have to go your separate ways. I mean, that's the only thing of uh, Resident Evil 4 that wasn't like a the scenario called separate ways. The reason I'm bringing this up now is because you know, they recently remade the fourth game, haven't they? It looks a lot darker. The, the thing that surprised me the most, I haven't played what I've seen of it. The one thing that surprised me the most is uh, Ashley's redesign. She looks like she's in her 30s rather than her winners. She looks like she'd be someone's aunt, you know. I don't know, maybe it's the... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the character model's face. Something about it just seems like she's way older than she's supposed to be. Wait, you've got a clone behind you. Oh wait, no, they're technically separate. This happens to share the same kind of thing. Where the hell's a Ruby Guard? Oh, there you are. Why are you in there, really? Really, I can't protect you if you're over there. Really, you're supposed to, you know, teleport. Ow! I'm tainted! Tainted love. Here's a song I've not heard in a long time. I should probably do something about that. That's horrifying endings. Hello. Oh, come on, I've been tainted again. How do you take 
excited love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seriously, how did you get tainted twice? Alright, let's heal a bit. Now that song's getting stuck in my head. Now it's like, you have to run away. You dated love and healing. Keep it on the ground. I knew that song it is, so I can remember the lyrics to some extent. Are we done here? I think we're done here. Well, so far so good, you know. For my colds in this record session. I <laughs> said it's just like, oh yeah, when I'm editing. Then my throat goes, Bleh. Now it's all sore and shit because I was recording for an hour and a half. How do we get out of here? I only played for this drop once, so... You know... Don't have it all memorized. So before we try to leave this place of shit, is there any items? Yeah, I think I've got all the items in this drop at this point. The store's locked, isn't it? Oh wait, I remember now. I got distracted by ghosts and rambling. I'm supposed to take a picture. Which would be on the opposite side. <coughs> Got the annoying cough coming on. Yeah. What is the most annoying thing about a cold? Is it the runny nose? I haven't really had a runny nose. That's one. It's just like now I said that. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, you haven't. How about we add that? But a sore throat is definitely one of the worst. And the coughing, coughing really sucks. But you insulted my favorite Pokemon. I wasn't talking about coughing Pokemon. <laughs> this cough is starting to fall. Why am I even on screen these battles? You guys suck. Take a car. I'll speed it. Man, you look like you're being in a fire there. I don't think I was supposed to glance him at that time. But you know, sometimes it happens. I definitely feel like one of those battles where I can defeat the ghost and then I'll look up some points. But sometimes you can prematurely glance them, and for whatever reason it doesn't give you points if they are destined to be defeated and, you know, have a cutscene right after, which is stupid. with a rusty key. You gotta move the camera just to open the goddamn door. 
Sorry, really, but you're stuck in there now. <laughs> you're too slow. Oh, no vats. What is that noise? That bit right there confuses me because it just like implies something's up here, but nothing really comes of it. I don't know what that sound was. Maybe it was from the game or what. It just like sounded like some kind of faint in the background noise, like someone just like talking to us, like "Yes, all aboard, remain seated over here." But in Japanese, it kind of sounded like a faint kind of. Uh, announcement kind of voice in the background. So it's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I keep forgetting my guitar is out of two. So it's just like you go... It's like, oh yeah, that's out of two. Whole tone scale. Well, I was originally, you know, thinking of uh, clearing the second thread again, but I mean, it says right there it took me 31 minutes, so I ain't got 31 minutes. So over two hours, my first recording back since getting the cold. I ain't freaking pushing it that far. So the next part, I'll do that and maybe get Ren's other ending. There's not really much else to do, really. Uh, maybe I'll go through both the second, third, and last uh, threads there. See if I can S plus rack them. On top of getting the last item needed. So as you can see, the archive is 99%. There's only that one note. That's, I'm pretty sure, the only note I have yet to pick up. And I imagine the episode percentage counts both difficulties, which is why it's at 86%. Ghost lists are still got a ways to go on that. So like I do most of that off screen, you know? Once I've cleared each drop and, you know, gotten all the items, I go back. And, you know, when I S plus rank them, I'll play them on Nightmare of Relief. It's like I tried to find the ghosts that I missed on the first playthrough. Or in the cases of like this one, you know, the second playthrough as well, because I clearly missed the ghost or two. Because they're crafty little bastards. They appear when you least expect them. And usually in cases where there's items around, so you can't really tell where you're supposed to look. But yeah, that'll do for this part of this record session. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.